as a kid yeah. All a nigga wanna have was a very big scarf and three dollars in my pocket Instead yeah. I got beat with a switch but I don't give a fuck but it's on my body Scars all up on me but I run around from everybody Life lesson learned I better learn from this bitch nobody She pushed me around she didn't give no motherfucks about it She broke my heart three times the Jacksonville Jaguars are going on the road to face the Cincinnati Bengals. And for the Jacksonville Jaguars, they were defeated by the Miami Dolphins on Thursday Night Football last week, 31-13. And the Jaguars over the last couple of weeks have really let me down, man. I mean, their performance last week against the Miami Dolphins was simply disappointing. And I mean, the defense played as bad as they possibly could. I mean... The pass defense was terrible, which we already knew that the Jacksonville Jaguars secondary was a big concern heading in because of the performance that they put up against the Tennessee Titans and Ryan Tannehill. But I mean, I thought they would put up a little bit of a better fight against the Miami Dolphins, but Ryan Fitzpatrick, man, he looked like he couldn't be stopped. Not only was he really good at throwing the football, but he also was able to put in work on the ground, which really puzzles me because... Isn't Miles Jack supposed to be one of the fastest linebackers in the NFL? Like, where was he when Ryan Fitzpatrick was out there last week looking like Lamar Jackson? I mean, Ryan Fitzpatrick simply could not be stopped last week. And for the Jacksonville Jaguars, man, like, this defense needs a lot of work. So, I mean, going into this game, you're facing the Cincinnati Bengals team that tied with the Philadelphia Eagles last week, 23-23, and allowed eight sacks. Joe Burrow was sacked eight times last week. So for the Jaguars, you're facing a pretty favorable matchup because you have a really good pass rusher in Josh Allen and you have rookie Caleb Von Chasen. So you should be able to get pressure on Joe Burrow. Now, here where, here's where my concern lies. Although the Jacksonville Jaguars defensive line on paper should dominate the Cincinnati Bengals on their off the line, their secondary is a big concern because you're facing a Cincinnati Bengals team that has a really good group of wide receivers. I mean, Tyler Boyd went off last week against Philadelphia. He looked unstoppable. You still have to stop A.J. Green. You still got to stop T. Higgins. Like, the Cincinnati Bengals, aside from the offensive line, they have a lot of weapons at Joe Burrow's disposal. The question is, is Joe Burrow going to have enough time to sit back and get the ball to his playmakers? That's where the question lies. And for the Cincinnati Bengals, I mean, this offensive line is terrible. This off the line has even exceeded my expectations for how bad they could possibly play this season. Like, look, I knew this Cincinnati Bengals off the line was going to be bad, but I didn't know they were going to be giving up eight sacks. I mean, Joe Burrow went last went viral last week for the wrong reason. He went viral because he got smacked by one of the defensive linemen for the Philadelphia Eagles. And I mean, the Cincinnati Bengals, man, like, they're playing a really dangerous game with Joe Burrow. Like, one of the biggest things one of the biggest lessons when it comes to business is protecting your investment and the Cincinnati Bengals as of right now it doesn't look like they're trying to protect their investment Joe Burrow is basically running for his life back there he's getting smacked around and thrown around like a rag doll and I mean the Bengals off the line is just absolutely terrible don't even get me started on Bobby Hart somebody for the life of me tell me why Bobby Hart hasn't been benched yet I mean the Cincinnati Bengals off the line could improve drastically if they bench Bobby Hart, like I could go out there and do what Bobby Hart does. I mean, Bobby Hart is a big concern for this Cincinnati Bengals off the line. I mean, I don't know if they just don't have anybody who can't replace him or anything like that, but they need to do something to protect Joe Burrow. Because if not, not only is this going to be a long afternoon for Joe Burrow because you're facing Josh Allen and a really good Jacksonville Jaguars deep to the line that should be able to get pressure on Joe Burrow in this game. But, I mean, also on the defense side of the football, the Cincinnati Bengals still can't stop the run. And you're looking at Jacksonville Jaguars that with rookie James Robinson, who is second behind Joe Burrow in the rookie of the year race, he's really good. So these Cincinnati Bengals linebackers aren't really all that great against the run. And you're facing a Jacksonville Jaguars team that they want to run the football. Not only that, but this Cincinnati Bengals secondary, I still have my concerns about as well. Besides from the safe position with Jesse Bates and Von Bell, this Cincinnati Bengals defense is not that great. Now, the defensive line is really good. Um, You got Sam Hubbard. You got Carlos Dunlap. So the defensive line is really good. 
But I mean, other than that, the defensive line and the safety position, this defense is really has a lot of room for improvement. And I mean, if the Bengals want to win this game, you have to be able to stop the running game of the Jacksonville Jaguars because James Robinson has been really good. And also, you got Garner Minshew. Now, Garner Minshew has to bounce back in this game because he didn't really play all that great against the Miami Dolphins. DJ Chark didn't play. Hopefully, DJ Chark can play in this game against the Cincinnati Bengals because they're going to need him. And for the Jacksonville Jaguars, I think they have a really good chance of winning this game because you look at the Bengals' offense, although your secondary has struggled, you should be able to match the Cincinnati Bengals point for point if this game ends up going into a shootout territory. So, I mean, I think both of these teams are pretty much going to end up putting up 30 points on each other or maybe more because both of these two teams' defenses aren't really great. I mean, the Bengals, they were able to get a couple of turnovers on the Philadelphia Eagles, but, I mean, I just want to give that to Carson Wentz. I just don't think Carson Wentz has played all that great. Meanwhile, Garner Minshew, aside from his poor performance last week against the Miami Dolphins, he's played pretty well this season. So, I mean, the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Cincinnati Bengals, this is a really tough game to decide because the Cincinnati Bengals, it just looks like they just find ways to lose games. I mean, they should have won against the L.A. Chargers the week one. They lost that game. Okay, week two, they lost pretty convincingly against the Cleveland Browns. But even then, that's the game that they could have won. And then last week, week three, you lose, you tie with the Philadelphia Eagles. You might as well consider that a loss because you didn't win the game. You don't play the game to tie. You play the game to win. And the fact that this off the line has played so poorly is why I got to take Jacksonville to win this game because I simply don't think that the Cincinnati Bengals are going to give Joe Burrow enough time to throw the football because you're facing a pretty good pass rush. You got Josh Allen, who was a Pro Bowl last year. You also got rookie Caleb Von Chasen, who has been fairly impressive so far. So, I mean... I don't really think this Cincinnati Bengals defense is going to be able to stop the Jacksonville Jaguars rushing attack because of how bad these linebackers have been against the run this year. And James Robinson, like I said, has been the second best rookie in the NFL behind Joe Burrow. So I think that the Jaguars are going to win this game. 35 to 31 is my final score prediction in this game. And look, the Bengals have a chance to win this game too because the Jacksonville Jaguars defense is hasn't really played all that great but i just think this is going to be a game that comes down to whoever has the ball in their hands last and when you look at the jacksonville jaguars the fact that they're able to have so much success running the football and the Bengals defense hasn't really been able to stop the run i think that votes well in the jacksonville jaguars favor also you got to take into account that the Bengals in their own right they're pretty one-dimensional because they can't run the ball at all not only is the off the line bad at pass blocking, but the off the line also isn't all that great when it comes to run blocking as well. So I just think this is a matchup that the Jaguars should win. And I believe that Vegas has the Bengals favored to win this game by three points. And if Vegas has the Bengals favored to win this game by three points, I think the reason for that is because the Bengals basically have beaten themselves. Like week one, they should have beaten the Chargers. Okay, the field goal kicker missed the game, missed the game time field goal and things like that. So, I mean, I think a reason why Vegas has the Bengals favored to win this game by three points is because of how close the Bengals have been in winning their previous three matchups. But ultimately, I think that the Jacksonville Jaguars are going to end up defeating the Cincinnati Bengals because I just think that the Bengals are just too one-dimensional on, on offense. You got Josh Allen. I think he could be in for a big game. I also think Caleb Von Chaser could have a big game as well. And you got a Bengals team that can't stop the run and a secondary that is not that great. And given Jacksonville secondary is not that great neither, I just think this is a game that's going to come down to whoever has the ball last possession. And I just trust the Jacksonville Jaguars more than I trust Cincinnati. Now, Cincinnati has the ball to end the game. Now, I think they can win that as well. But with the fact that the Bengals are just so one-dimensional, it's hard for me to see that. The Jacksonville Jaguars just have a better team as of right now, in my opinion, which is why I got to take the Jacksonville Jaguars to win this game. Because although their defense, their secondary hasn't played great, I still think the Jacksonville Jaguars are going to be able to get key stops when it matters the most. And I don't think the Bengals are going to be able to do that. When it comes to, you know, clutch situations to win games, the Bengals just simply don't come up. And the Jacksonville Jaguars, if Garner Minshew has the ball in his hands last, I think he's going to be able to get the job done. So this is a game that can go either way, but I'm taking Jacksonville to win.